Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is uh, Keith at KMS Game Zone. I uh, have another game for you today to check out. Uh, it's called At Dead of Night. Uh, downloaded it on Steam. Uh, At Dead of Night is a part horror game, part, part film, uh, and part ghost hunt. It seamlessly blends live action and graphics to create a unique immersive horror experience like no other. You play Maya, who is a student trapped in a remote hotel run by a psychopath called Jimmy Hall. Jimmy has tied up Maya's friends and locked them in their rooms with evil intentions. Maya has managed to escape, but Jimmy is on the prowl looking for her. However, to get him to release her friends, Maya must uncover Jimmy's dark secret. Using an ancient ghost voice receiver she finds, Maya must communicate with the ghosts of Jimmy's pasts who materialize around the hotel and gradually reveal their story. Hmm. Sounds really interesting. Uh, so, yeah, this is look, looks good. It's called At Dead of Night. So, hope you enjoy. Sit back and relax. Hey, everyone. Hmm, except Freddy Krueger.
Okay, I'm gonna hook out and start the new game. Just go to bed, Hannah. Well, listen, make sure you're not <laughs> No signal. I like the uh, full motion video. Very good. Starts off like a movie. Ah, Maya, I presume. Don't be alarmed. Uh, your friends booked you in. Uh, Coco just... the Clown. <laughs> ah, yes. Uh, room 101. It's all been paid for, so you don't have to worry about anything. You are very nice friends. <laughs> very nice. And there's uh, quite a few of you I see as well. Nice to see so many fresh, young faces <laughs> for a change. Uh, you're here for the music festival in town, I presume? Yeah, we were supposed to be camping there tonight, but... <laughs> There's hardly weather for that, is there? <laughs> no, it's fine. We'll go camping. It's okay, Will sir. Will you be staying for breakfast? I don't think so. We'll probably just get going. That's fine. And uh, if you don't mind me asking, Maya, would you be interested in uh, the entertainment tonight? Tonight? Uh, starts around <laughs> midnight. Usually, it's, it's yeah, me right. Doing it actually. I've been wide awake at that time. I do this comedy character called uh, Hugo Punch. He's sort of this yeah. comedic sociopath, says things Psychopath. that you're not supposed to say, and that sort of thing. It's quite popular yeah. with students. I think, I think I'll pass. Thanks. I don't think so. We're all just going to bed. I think. Are you sure? I'm going to go back to the tent. Twist your arm on this. It's no. okay, I'd rather just go to bed. Sorry. Fine. 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 That is what, if that is rooms? a wig, then um, bam. Just take the lift, uh, you're on the first floor. Okay, thanks. Oh, and, and then drop your key off in the box, uh, if you will, Maya, please, tomorrow. Okay. Hmm. If you survive. <clears throat> Best show in town, and no takers. Who needs proper entertainment when you've got YouTube and my face or whatever? Stupid, uncultured. You don't like rude children. They're naughty. <laughs> don't start this again. I don't want to hear it, okay? Not tonight! Naughty children are bad eggs. They need to be taught a lesson. <laughs> shut up! Just shut up! You always do this. They're paying customers. They haven't done anything to you. Just leave them alone. Bad eggs need cracking, whack them hard and crack the shell, kick them down the stairs to hell. You know what you need to do, Jimmy. Show them who's boss. That's the way to do it. <laughs> Guy's got like a split personality or something? Hmm. That's it. Go to sleep. 
Alright. Bother for more of your uh, customers, do you, uh, Jimmy? Well, he's in room 101, actually. He's being a bad monkey. Okay. So let's have a wander around. Lift there. Mm. Give his room. Nice, nice more paper. And then what we got? Lots. That's just three. Yeah. Okay, so games room. Can't go any further forward in there. I need to find a compass and a spray in there. Alright, oh, can't go down there. She was in room 101. We've got 101 to the right, 116, 123 to the left. Let's start from 101 and we know where we are, we don't get lost and confused. Where are we here? When you move, you've got to wait for the character to finish the move. Ah, there's our room. We can look through the door. Have a look. Ah, compass. Just a 
bottle. Ooh. Oh yeah, they were in your room. What are they? Whiskey bottles still in your room. Another party? You want spirit what, like the whiskey? <laughs> Uh, suit of armor. Uh, and also, I can hide in here. There's nothing in those, I don't think. So we can look in all the all of these places. Dark. No, we can't do anything there. Another key, store room, okay. okay. Oh, the throwing there, right? I've got, oh, I've got the two items. Paddle or beat that, oh, alright. That must be the uh, Jimmy Persuader. Have a scrying with that. That's at the 105, so let's find 106. Seven. Okay, another dark room. Nothing you can do in there. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. My friend sent me. Jimmy is locked up. And another one. Okay, so room 1110 and 111. Got some my, my friends in it. Covered in bloodstain. Off the turf and pine and a lighter. I've got a and fit. Right. 
another dark room. I think these uh, change as well. If you play the game again, you might not necessarily get all these rooms being the same second or third time around. So I think items are in different rooms sometimes. Uh, so don't rely on, obviously, what you see in this video to tell you exactly where everything is. Um, obviously, you want to find out for yourself, I guess, when you play it. You don't to see everything presented to you, so you've got to have a bit of fun and enjoy the game yourself, haven't you? Which is good, I think, when you do games like this. It'll always be a bit boring if everything, everything was the same. Way. Three, one, six. And it's a dark room. And another dark room. Okay. Ornamental sword. Use that maybe to uh, see off Jimmy. That room. One, two, one. I need next. One, two, one. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. Ah, yeah. One, two, one is locked. Another one of my friends. So I think it's. Maybe I make, make a note of that. Uh, so I've got three friends located so far. Room 110, 111, and 121. Is there a fourth one, I think?
Syringe on the bottle of diazepam. Found some childish violent falling. Yeah, like the headings and eyes being stabbed out with knives. Yeah, nice. Probably Jimmy's egg back. Right. That's all the rooms explored that I can get into, which aren't dark or locked. Uh, I picked up lots of deadlock keys. Lots of deadlock keys, a lot of the rooms, so I think now I need to uh, go now, do I need to uh, yeah, go up to the next floor. Let's go up to the second floor. What have we got up there? Everything's dark there, so I have to progress a bit first in the story before I can uh, go everywhere on floor two. Let's go up one level now to floor three. Ring in its box. Not many rooms up here, is there? Okay, we've got here. Three hundred one. Oh, Probably big when Jimmy looked in them, I expect. And he was wearing that wig.
two. Two. The ground floor. We have to use the scrying mirror in the kitchen. It says you can use it in the kitchen or at the base of the doors. So let's go all the way down and see what we need to do. I've got all the items I need now. I think I've got everything out of all the rooms. I've got the mirror, I've got the compass. By the spray mirror. Stairs, then, boy. One level below. Oh, yes, I'm crying. As far as you can go in that room, you can't move any further forward. Is anyone there? Is anyone there? Interact with the lockers. And here. What? Is someone there? Is someone there? Nope. Okay. a little girl. I think we go back downstairs then. Someone there. Hello. Oh, hello. What's your name? I'm Amy Bell. I'm ten. Yeah, Amy Bell, and I'm ten. I saw a girl in the basement crying. Who was she? Boy, you called Jimmy. Yeah, was that? It's been years ago when Jimmy was a young boy then. How did those mirrors get broken? I don't know. Who did the wedding ring belong to?
What was the coil of wire used for? Jimmy used to carry it around with him. Who? Who drew those violent pictures? The boy used to draw them. Boy. Is that Jimmy the boy? Where did the bottle of diazepam come from? I found some trophies. Who won them? Who did the chef's hat belong to? Who did the child's purse belong to? the sword belong to? Jimmy had it. I didn't like it. <laughs> I saw some suitcases in a chest. Who did they belong to? I don't know. I found a bottle of turpentine in a lighter. What were they for? Why is there a blood-stained cloth in one of the drawers? It could have been mine. Where did the wooden paddle come from? I don't know. Why was there a collection of whiskey bottles in one of the rooms? The boy called Jimmy locked me in the basement and he started stealing things. So you've got to find an item to ask a question about in relation to that subject. So we have to choose something. Locked me in the basement and he started stealing from me. So, that. When you said Jimmy stole things from you, is that connected with what you said about the purse? Yes, he took it when I wasn't looking and stole my money. Bastard! Stealing money from a young girl. Wow. A teddy bear. Gone. Obviously, discovered the the uh, subject we needed to ask her about. Now I think we have to go up to ground floor. Maybe there's another clue. Shouting to Jimmy to give your toy back. Why did he take it? Because he thought it was funny. He gave it back, but then ruined it anyway. Hmm. hmm. The name of the toy. So. What you said about Jimmy stealing your toy, does that have something to do with what you said about the turpentine and lighter? He stole my toy with that stuff in the bottle. I hated him. Hmm. 
He's a vicious little bastard, he this Jimmy. He's gone then. A vicious little sod. Oh, I think. Yeah. We gotta go up floor one. There's the arrow pointing down here. Hello. In here, I think. Someone there? Is someone there? Is anyone there? Is anyone there? Is anyone there? No. Give me something, is he? Oh, goody. Oh. Take contact again. Is it Amy? Sword, haven't I? Look at that. Sword and number room number two, is There's it? Someone there. Oh, gotta keep an eye out for Jimmy now. Stairs then. Oh, 
Hmm. Hmm. It's not good. Yeah, the lights on here. There's someone there. Who's there? Oh. Huh. Jimmy, I'm Dr. Bose. I'm just here to have a little chat, okay? Thank you, Jimmy. I won't be long. Hello? 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 What's your name? Dr. Bush. I'm a clinical psychiatrist. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see what you might be here. <laughs> I saw a man knocking on a door, telling Jimmy he was there to help. Who was it? It was me. I got a call from Rose, Jimmy's mother. She wanted me to talk to Jimmy, find out what was bothering him. But Harvey was worried about Jimmy's mind and the things he was imagining. Harvey, is that Jimmy's father, maybe? Well, here we go. Let's ask some questions. How did those mirrors get broken? I didn't see them. Who did the wedding ring belong to? I don't know. What was the coil of wire used for? It belonged to Jimmy. He always kept it in his pocket. He didn't tell oh. me what he used it for. Hmm. Choking animals, probably. Who drew those violent pictures? Jimmy. He used to draw them. Hi. I found some trophies. Who won them? I don't know. Where did the bottle of diazepam come from? It can help treat impulsive behaviour in some people. Who did the chef's hat belong to? The chef. Jimmy found it and put it on. <laughs> Who does the sword belong to? I saw Jimmy playing with it. I thought it was dangerous. Who hmm. does Charles' purse belong to? I don't know. I saw some suitcases in a chest. Who did they belong to? Why is there a blood-stained cloth in one of the drawers? It was mine. I kept it in case I needed it as evidence. Hmm. I found a bottle of turpentine and a lighter. What were they for? You'd better ask Jimmy. Where did the wooden paddle come from? Why was there a collection of whiskey bottles in one of the rooms? Well, they were probably from the bar. <laughs> That's obvious, that. There you go. But, uh, right, so... Let's ask him some questions. I wanted me to find out what was bothering Jimmy, but how he was worried about the things Jimmy was imagining. So let me pair that up with the violent drawings. When you said Harvey was worried about Jimmy's mind, does that have anything to do with what you said about those violent pictures? Yes. They suggested a turbulent personality, but I wasn't particularly concerned until I started to realise how far his imagination went. Sir. 
the box or something, is it? Or is that the wing? The ring? Hmm. I think he's gone. Got a few more rooms I can get into down here now, I think. One being one of them. Let's see what goodies we got lying around for us. Nothing. Uh, nothing. Okay. Keep an eye out for Jimmy. I don't think he's not here yet. He usually normally announces himself, doesn't he? Very shouting. Um. Here he goes. Let's just keep that. Like someone's doing a garrot. Yeah, it's kind of scrap the newspaper actually. It's head of next to violent abuse at private school. Right. That might account for where Jimmy's gone a bit weird. He was abused, was he? Possibly. Three hundred one should, should have checked the um scry in there already, but uh, yeah. Very good. 
важно. Фигня. О! Jesus Christ! Is it Dr. Bose? Yes, I'm Dr. Bose. I saw you holding up a dead animal on a wire. What had happened? Jimmy was killing things. Small birds, animals. I realized he needed to work on his empathy skills. So I asked him to think of something nice he could do for me. I was surprised. He came up with an idea right away. Oh, great. Why was there a washing line tied around a rolling pin? Good. Why is there an old heater marked dangerous? I don't know. I saw a scrapbook with newspaper articles in it. Who made it? Jimmy made it. It was a warning. <laughs> I should have seen it coming. Ooh. Carry him up with uh, that. When you said Jimmy came up with an idea to do something nice for you, does that have anything to do with what you said about the washing line and rolling pin? Maybe. Check that. When you said Jimmy came up with an idea to do something nice for you, is that connected to what you said about the chef's hat? Yes. Jimmy said he'd make something for me. So I followed him <clears throat> to see what he was going to do. Bad idea. Don't want to see what he's cooking for you. Especially if it's that rabbit thing. Bloody hell. Oh, he's gone. I need to go down to the kitchen. Still got that bill fright as well, so Amy. and see what Jimmy's cooking for us, shall we? This is a great idea, Jimmy. I reckon you'll make a great cook one day. Oh, why don't you bring it up to me when you're done? I'll wait for you, okay? Can't wait. Aye. What the chef is, Jimmy. Once he keeps that hat on his head, though, to stop all that pubic hair growing up his head falling into my food. Okay. Okay. Oh, the scry mirror. Back up to number one with Jimmy. Stop the bows. And uh, that, that bloody, bloody rag is it? I think. I have to ask 
got bows about the rag, and then at number three. So we can bring for one. Okay. Come on, let's see what's up number three first. Jimmy's parents. It's the truth. Is anyone there? What's your name? Harvey. I run the place. I run the place. <laughs> I saw a man saying Jimmy had lied about the assault. Who was he? It was me. Jimmy had made accusations about the doctor. Rose believed if I'd heard that story somewhere before. Mm -hmm. I saw a scrapbook with newspaper articles in it. Who made it? He used to keep cutouts of news stories about abusive teachers and doctors. He wasn't <laughs> a normal boy. Oh, Why really? was there a washing line tied around a rolling pin? I don't know. How did those mirrors get broken? I don't remember that. Who did the Your wedding, wedding ring belong to? What was the coil of wire used for? Jimmy used to carry it around with him. No idea why. Who drew those violent pictures? Who do you think? Jimmy. He had a very violent imagination, did little Jimmy. Where did the bottle of diazepam come from? Probably the doctor left it. I found some trophies. Who won them? I don't know. Who does the sword belong to? We had a display of medieval weapons. Jimmy stole it. I saw some suitcases in a chest. Who did they belong to? Rose, but she never used them. Why is there a blood-stained cloth in one of the drawers? Where did the wooden paddle come from? It was always under the counter in reception. I don't know where it came from. <laughs> Jimmy Persuader. 
Why was there a collection of whiskey bottles in one of the rooms? I don't remember. There's nothing wrong with having a drink. <laughs> what do I tell us that Jimmy had made accusations about the doctor. Bruce believed him, but I'd heard that story somewhere before. So, accusations about the doctor. What would that be? How do I that do? Uh, when you said you'd heard the story somewhere before, does that have something to do with the blood stained cloth? When you said you'd heard the story somewhere before, does that have anything to do with what you said about the sword? When you said you'd heard the story somewhere before, does that have something to do with what you said about the scrapbook? It came straight out of it. As soon as I found that scrapbook, I knew where Jimmy yeah. got it from. Down to every detail. Yeah, right. Who's oh, gone? Goodbye. <laughs> Me up here yet? Nerd him. Ah, there we are. That's if on cue. There he is. Oh, right. Just quick in case Jimmy comes up and clobbers me down. <laughs> like that. Ooh. Thanks, Jimmy. My music box now, which is in the storeroom. That's one big lump I've got on my head now.
quick, you know. Busy. That was dope. It's been right around the corner. There he is. Hello, Jimmy. How are you? The bed sheets are disgusting. Yes. Hello. Did he go out or did he? Did he go in the bathroom? Is someone there? Damn it. This guy really is a pain in the ass. He's taking all my keys. Is someone there?
he's there. Put all the keys back in the cupboards. Hey. <laughs> I'm here. This way. <laughs> that? Oh, there he is. Hello. <laughs> Here's your thumb. Hey, I <laughs> oh, like right here. Hello, Jesus, you are thick. <laughs> I 
Someone there? Oh. Is someone there? Hello. Is it Doctor Bose? Oh, I'm Dr. Boat. I saw a man saying Jimmy had lied about the assault. Who was he? It was Harvey. He knew Jimmy was lying about me. Harvey understood. Who wrote the note that says goodbye? When you said Harvey knew Jimmy was lying, does that have something to do with what you said about the diazepam? I saw you outside the kitchen talking to Jimmy. What were you doing? Jimmy was making me a sandwich. He brought it up to my room as I asked. I didn't suspect anything was wrong at first. All right. <laughs> so what me guess you got something in it? Like what? Um. When you said you didn't suspect anything was wrong, does that have something to do with the blood-stained cloth? It was my first encounter with Jimmy's sense of humour. Huh. Is anyone there? Is anyone there? What's going on in there?
Jesus Christ, Jimmy. Okay. Is someone there? Is someone there? Hmm. I'm going to go back here, but... Who's there? Hmm. 